So for the next three topics, we're just, we're solving equations, but they just have a bunch of letters in them, okay? And so we have to keep focus on who it is we're trying to get all by itself, okay? So for this problem, it says solve for a variable, solve for t. So what I like to do is I like to like bold it on my paper or do something, I use colors. So I would put T in red here and remember that that's the guy I'm trying to solve for, okay? Now we treat it just like any other equation. It's got fractions, it's got an equal sign, so I'm gonna do the same strategy as I've been doing before. Multiply by the common denominator over one. What is the common denominator here? This is gonna be T. So I'm gonna multiply by T over one and I'm gonna multiply by T over one what happens on the left hand side? You just got I by itself. Mm -hmm. T R times T. Yeah, I'm doing the wrong colors here. <laughs> but yes, because I only want T in red, right? So I equals P R, and then I'm going to put this T in red. Just so I can focus. Okay? You don't want that in parentheses? I mean, it's, you're multiplying. It's, but they're all just monomials. Oh, okay. It's only when you have a binomial you have to put the parentheses. Okay. Okay. So remember, T is the one I'm trying to get by himself. So how do I get rid of something that's multiplied in the front? Divide. Divide by mm -hmm. one. So I'm gonna divide both sides by the PR and the PR so that it wipes out and I'm left with just T all by itself. Equals I over PR. Over PR. Now make sure that when you type this into the computer that you put the proper case. So is it yeah, uppercase or yeah, lowercase? Lower it's going to matter, okay? So just make sure you be careful there. Can I ask a dumb question for you? It's not me? dumb, but go ahead. What does that I over PR represent? Like, if you, like, it, like, how I know what early? it stands for. I is interest, P is principal, R is rate, T is what? time. Oh, so now that's like a home. Like, that's like you're doing interest. Like if you're right, you're calculating the interest, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, you that's say, simple you interest. Term, like actual yeah, because that's, that's principal. So what does X mean? Well, X is a more general thing. Oh, okay. It could be anything. I'm sure, I was like, well, I don't know they don't all meaning. have some kind yeah, of meaning. So this like particular <laughs> problem does yeah. have some meaning, right. and you're going to see it when you get to college algebra. You're going to see all these P's, I's, and R's, and T's stuff later. Right. Um, but not all of them do. Some of them are just some random things they gave you, and you just got to solve for whatever letter they tell you. Like yeah, like this. I don't even know what this Yeah, I don't know what they're trying to do there. <laughs> These are just random. They're not actual formulas for anything. So who am I solving for? You're solving for solve for x squared. It's not x squared, be careful. It's x to the second. It's not x to the second. It's x, x, x2 or x with the subscript 2. X2. It's down, right, instead it's of up. Yeah, up right. is when you say 2 or squared, right? It's x to the 2 or x squared, only if it's up top. So this is called subscript. It's, yeah, this is a subscript, and it's just a label. So x1, x2. x1 okay, x2. just to identify that both are x values, but one is one x value and the other is another x value, okay? So we still have to find that common factor, right? Yeah, common denominator. What is so it this time? It's going to be M, all right? So multiply by right, M over on 1, one M over 1. These guys will cancel, but you'll have what? Uh, you're going to have 9. Oh, you're going to have... On the left. B, B times M. B yeah. times, times M. M equals 9 X subscript. Uh-huh. 1. My, my, yeah. And minus x two subscript. Like that? In parentheses. Okay, good. Yes, in parentheses, ma'am. What do I do next? Uh, then you're solving for x squared, correct? X2, uh-huh. X, x2. Uh-huh, this guy? Yeah. So, uh, you want to divide the whole thing by x2? No. Okay. So you're going to plug it in. Minus what? No, you can't. There's two choices to do here. Okay, do you want so me to show you both? Get, no, let us figure it out. Let There's two, know. though. What else is there? No, because I want to figure it out. What's because right. either you're going to get... What do you want to do with the 9? equation and minus it and put it on the B oh. side? You can't. There's parentheses. Okay, so you're going to divide. Divide by what? 
to buy the whole nine over X over one so subscript and X subscript two. Uh, what am I gonna put in the denominator? One. No. What nine, am I gonna divide nine, by? Nine, Just nine. 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 So yes, you can divide by nine. nine. You have yes. chosen it to do this way. I'm gonna do it another way in a okay. minute. Let me rewrite it from where we're at. <laughs> okay, so you chose to do it this way. That's fine. That's good. That's good. So you get this fraction here, whatever it is, equal to x1 minus x2. Still, this is my focus. I want him by himself. How do I get rid of this? You're going to divide. This is not multiply. Okay, you're going to subtract it from. Correct. So you're going to subtract. So now you have b over 9 minus, minus x. Mm -hmm. And then still a negative x2. Right. But I don't want to know what negative x2 is. I want to know what just x2 is. So how do I figure that out? You just multiply by negative 1 over mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you want to change this to a positive, you have to change everybody's sign, right? So you divide so by the, the negative, by one. negative one. Mm -hmm. So this guy by negative one, this guy by negative one, and this guy by negative one. So positive and negative made negative, negative and negative made positive, and then negative and negative made positive. And now you're done. So now you can say this is the answer, right? Make sure you type it in there correctly in the computer. But I told you there was another way, right? Yep. What's another way I can get rid of parentheses without dividing by 9? Uh, you can distribute, but use a negative 1. You can distribute, just distribute. Yeah. 9 times this. Oh, okay. 9x. Nine, 9 times this. 9x subscript. And then you'd have to move that term over, right? Yep. Yeah. So I would get bm minus 9x1, negative 9x2. So you're gonna divide by what? Divide by negative 9. Uh-huh. And so then here I'm stuck with the negative, bm over 9. Negative and a negative is positive. positive. 9's cancel, x1. x1. 9's cancel, negatives cancel, x2. Do I get the same thing? Yeah, it was just longer to draw it out. Mm-hmm. So it, whichever way, just make sure you need to get the parentheses to go away, okay, before you can do anything else. Now remember, the subscripts are there to tell me that the two guys are different. Even though they're both x, there's a difference between one of them and the other one, right? That's why they have the subscripts, so that you don't think they're the same, okay? Because I see subscripts in this other one, too. So remember that A1 is different from A2. So what's the common denominator then? A1, A2. Both of them, yep. So I'm going to have A1, A2, A1, A2, A1, A2. And then the A1s cancel here, the A2s cancel there. But what am I left with? Uh, you got you got B two right seven A one A two, so mm -hmm. you got seven A times seven A one A two both of them A two yes ma'am mm -hmm. equals B B is that A two uh huh A two plus B A one A one good now we're solving for B so B is the one that I want to get by himself. Think about it though. If I move this over there, I don't have all the bees together, do I? No. If I move that one over there, I don't have all the bees together. The bees are already there on one side, aren't they? Yep. The problem is, is I have two different numbers attached to them. Yeah, you got an A, A2, A1. A2. What could I do? Would they cancel? I just divide by A2 and divide by A1. If I divide by one of them, one of them will cancel, the other one won't, right? And I can't really combine them because I don't, well, you can, but visually it's going to look like something else. 
if I knew what these numbers were, right? Let me go back. Let me go over here on the side. If I have 3B plus 4B, what is the answer? That's 7B. 7B. You're doing this, but you don't realize you're doing it. You're adding the numbers by themselves and then just attaching the B, aren't you? Yeah. So what what you does that look like, though? Doesn't that look like factoring? Yeah. Right? So yeah, you, you can either use this idea to rewrite this problem, or you can just use the concept of factoring to rewrite that problem. So but you have to get the B out of the situation, okay? So what would you do? You take the B mm -hmm. and then multiply it by A squared? Not, well, I mean, A2, A, A2, uh -huh. A2, A1, A1. plus A1. Plus A1. Yes. And isn't this equivalent to that? Yes. So I haven't done anything illegal, right? No. We're still okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're still okay with the rules. But then now, can I get the B all by itself? Yeah, by yeah. taking by Dividing by, by, by this by whole eight. thing, yeah, right? This eight, yeah, the whole thing. So the A2, A1 cancels out? Mm -hmm. These things go away, and I have B. Equals 7A, A2, A2 plus A1. Mm -hmm. And you can't factor that, so don't even try to reduce it or cancel, cancel it. Either. Nope. Okay. Nope. The A1, A2 don't cancel out mm -mm. because you're... There's a multiplication and it's a addition. Right. These are yeah, multiplied, so but these right, guys are not. Our addition. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that one was a little bit tricky. Now we're going to have two word problems. So let me pause the video so you can copy that down if you're going to. Unpause so that it'll record what I'm saying. Um, for the work problem, you have this formula. It's one over the time for the first person, time for the second person, and then time together. T1, person one. Time for the second person. So it's basically one per or you can get one job done in so much time. Mm -hmm. The same job, right, done in so much time, and then that same job in a different time when they work together, right? So you're just basically plugging in the people you have, and then whoever you don't have, that's who's X, and then you just solve what's left, okay? So it says it takes two different sized hoses, 20 minutes to fill the swimming pool. So that's going to be this number that's here, the together. Then it says if it takes the larger hose to fill the swimming pool, 30 minutes to fill the swimming pool by itself, how long will it take the smaller hose? So I know one of the people's times, 30 minutes. 30 minutes. I don't know the other guy's time. So that's one over 30 times one over X equals one over 20, correct? Mm -hmm. And then what's the common denominator here? Shoot, it's probably going to be 60. Mm -hmm. I mean, 60 be. almost. You have this down here too, don't you? Oh, 60X. Mm -hmm. okay, copy that. Copy that. Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma so then the 30 will reduce, but then I'll have what left? You have 20x. 20x. The x will reduce, but, but then I'll have 60. 60. And the 20 will reduce here, but I'll have 30x. Oh, not 30 and not 20. 3. 3x. Right? 3x. 3x. Sorry. Yes, 3x. And over there, the same thing. Not 20, but 2x. Yeah, we are divided by big numbers. Right. Okay, you're right. 
So the zeros will cancel, and then three into six is two. Two zeros cancel, two into six is three. But now we have this. How do we solve this? What's that? Three, three, yes? Mm-hmm. what? Okay, I mean, you can move. X equals, you can, you can. You can minus two X. You can minus two X, that's what I was going to say. Minus two X, so you got, what, X equals 60? Mm-hmm. And you're done, right? Yeah, that's it. Yep. So it took him 60 minutes. All the other ones were in minutes, right? So this one, too. And it makes sense because it's a smaller hole, so wouldn't it take longer, yeah, take longer time. than the other one? Mm -hmm. yeah. That seems easy compared to the others we usually do. Well, yeah, oh it's just like the word problem. That's the only thing. Man. Okay, now we have this one. So the distance rate time problems, right? Yeah. So I'm going to make my box here. So this is going to be like a original word problem. This ain't going to be like the one we just did. So okay. remember, distance, rate, and time. And the formula is distance equals rate times time, right? Distance equals rate times time. So you said distance divided by time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so I just tried to go 10 kilometers. So your distance is... 10 kilometers per hour. So it's going to be 10 over 1, correct? Or just 10, yeah. Okay, so that's uh, going to be your distance. Distance. Wait, no, though. It says it traveled 10 kilometers per hour faster than an inline skater. So what, 10 plus, 10 plus, hold on. So you, this is 10 kilometers. You still only went 10 kilometers. Faster. Okay, so it's 10 plus. 10 plus what? Whatever the cyclist is. The skater? The skater? We we'll use S for skater. Okay. So then this is going to be the cyclist, and this one's going to be the skater. Right? It's important oh. to label. Okay, okay. So, so if that one's faster, you did 10 plus the cyclist. So well, the cyclist is added. still cyclist, right? Yes. Or, I'm sorry, the skater is still so the, the skater. skater. Yes. Now the rate, let's see. Oh, no, those are rates. Those are not the distances. When they say kilometers per hour, right? Isn't that's that your rate? rate? Oh, that's rate. Okay, I'm sorry. So we just put those under the wrong boxes. Okay, okay, there we go. So boom, boom. So that's the rate. So where are they going? How far they're going in the time is always going to be the rate. Right. Um, Whenever they say kilometers per hour, miles per hour, feet per second, things like that. Going, yeah. This right here is the rate. Yeah, Okay. Next sentence. It says faster than the inline. Okay, we got that. In the time it took the cyclist to travel 40 kilometers, so the cyclist would be the distance would be 40. 40. Mm -hmm. And then had gone, the skater had gone 20 kilometers by the speed of the skater. Okay, so. Do I know anything about the times? I know something about it. I don't know what it is exactly, but I know something about it. You don't have an accurate amount of time. I don't, but I know some information about the time. So I know that this guy's time. You're going to say 40 times 10 plus S? No, I know that this guy's time should equal this guy's time. Right? Isn't it say in the amount of time it took him to go 40 kilometers, it took him to go 20. 20. So they obviously were traveling for the same amount of time. Right. Okay? okay? The only thing is, is I don't know what goes in this box, and I don't know what goes in that box. Okay. Because the only thing I have for these letters is that distance equals the rate, rate times, times the time. time. Right. I only multiply them if I'm trying to fill in the distance box. I already have the distance box filled in. Okay. I'm trying to fill in the time box. So this is where those last two problems come in handy, where we're solving for a variable. How would I get t by itself here? Divide by r t. Divide by r, just r, I mean, just divide so that the t could be by itself. So that means if I want to fill in the time box, I have to take the distance and divide it by the rate. So if I want to fill in this box, I'm going to have to take that guy's distance and divide it by its rate. 
And the same thing for the skater. I'm going to have to take his distance and divide it by his rate. Now I can give you the equation because I know these two boxes equal one another. So now when I write my equation, it's going to look like this. The cyclist time should be equal to the skater's time. And what's the LCD between those two fractions? They're different, right? Yes. So I have to use I have to use both. So here those will cancel. Here this one will cancel. So you got 40, 40x mm -hmm. equals 20 mm -hmm. times 10. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So then what you got? 40x equals 200 mm -hmm. plus 100. That's the S. Oh, that's the S. I'm sorry. Okay, so 20s. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, you said to keep the 40s over there by itself. Okay. You take away 200. Mm -mm. Okay. Well, I take away 20. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. yeah, could you leave 200 by itself? Yeah. And it asked me find the speed of the skater. Didn't I find the speed of the skater? So it's 20, what measurements? Kilometers, Kilometers per hour. Per hour. Yeah. Good. But I had to go figure out how am I going to figure out what goes into that time box before we could do it. Be careful. If the, the distance boxes are open, right, they're the ones that are missing, you know how to get the distance boxes. You just multiply the rates and the times, right? But if you're missing the rate boxes or if you're missing the time boxes, you need to take the distance on top and the other value at the bottom. Okay. So those you definitely want to make sure that you're good. If you need when you get to those and if we're in class, um, I know you're gonna be working on a lot of it during the spring break, but you may have like a couple left over from 17 by the end of spring. Maybe, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But if this is one of them, then we'll talk about it on that following Monday. You can ask me to double check your stuff before you submit them inside Alex. Okay. But these are the ones that are going to take a while.